Now joining us, head coach of the Wagner Seahawks, head coach Jason Hotailing from New York. Coach, how are you doing today? Great, guys. Appreciate you having me on. Appreciate you uh, coming on. I don't know if you knew this, but there's a Wagner connection at BYU. One of the assistant coaches play uh, for basketball, men's basketball, played at Wagner. His name's Quincy Lewis. So I don't know what hat oh, wow. or shirt he's going to wear, but you got a Wagner <laughs> guy at BYU. Well, I had no idea about that. Yeah, I'll have to talk with Coach Hamline, and, <laughs> and uh, we can discuss that one. Speaking of Coach Hamline, so uh, your first year with Wagner taking over, you've been an assistant there for several years now. What's it like taking over for Walt Hamline, who is the head coach for the past 34 years? Uh, I mean, obviously taking over for a legend like Coach Hamline, he's, uh, he's been one of my mentors, and, and I've learned so much from him, um, and I'm just really excited to get going. The, uh, the support from the top down, from Dr. Grassi to Angelo Ramo, and obviously Coach Hamline has, has been great, and uh, just excited to get started and take what, what he's taught me uh, since I've been here and, uh, and run with it. You know, it reminds me of, of when Coach Mendenhall took over the BYU program, and the first thing that he did was, was go to legendary uh, head coach Lavelle Edwards and, and asked him, hey, you know, what are some of the things that I should do to, uh, you know, get this program going in the right direction? What were some of the things that uh, your mentor said to you? Well, I think, you know, Coach has given me so much advice throughout the years. And, and you know, the, two of the last three years, we've either won the conference championship or shared it. So there's not a ton of things I wanted to change. It was more so, hey, Coach, how can I make sure I'm doing things the right way uh, off the field? Some of the things I haven't done as a as an assistant coach, um, you know, and it was really just, hey, make sure you're organized uh, and have all your ducks in a row and communicate with your staff and communicate with the, uh, the people on campus that you, that you need to get things done. Wagner head coach Jason Hotailing is on BYU Sports Nation. October 24th, BYU and Wagner in Provo. That game right here on BYU TV at uh, 3 Eastern time. How did that game with BYU come about? Well, actually, we, uh, we got a phone call last year during the season, and I know you know Coach Hamline, obviously being the athletic director, I know he had been in talks with them for a while, and and all of a sudden he said to me, "What do you think?" and and we actually talked with a few of the players about it, and um, and it was you know they were all excited about it and said, "Let's go." Um, I know there was some stuff that went on with scheduling all that, but that was more with with Coach Hamline and and, and the people at BYU, and I wasn't really sure how it all happened. I just know uh, the guys were excited, I was excited, and and we said, let's go. Coach, when you play BYU in in October, what are your expectations? And and as a former player, uh, the competitive side of me is going to allow you to say, I expect to win. So feel free to say that if you need to. I understand. No, I think (laughs) – I think every time you step on the field, the the object is to win the football game. And every yep. competitor knows that. It doesn't matter who you're playing against. It's the same game. It's the same field. There's the same rules. And you go out and you work as hard as you possibly can to get a W. And I think that's the mindset of our kids. You know, we've been playing these, these games now for a couple of years. And, and what we want to go out there and do is just compete as hard as we possibly can, play fast, play physical, and just and play the game the way it's supposed to be played. Winning a conference championship and certainly, you know, a national championship are among more important goals than, say, maybe beating BYU. But what do you know about BYU football going into the season? I mean, I just, you know, the history of BYU football, the great players they've had um, going into this season. We, we, you know, we haven't started breaking them down yet from a from a schematic standpoint, but I know they got some great players. I mean, obviously the quarterback uh, getting hurt last year um, and now coming back, and he's a he's a heck of a player. And uh, you know, they have the running back to go along with them, and and they got some great players on defense, good linebacker. So, so all in all, I just I know it's a great program and the history of it, and uh, they return a lot of good players. Coach, let's, let's break down your team uh, for uh, Sports Nation and tell us some of the players that uh, fans and analysts we should be paying attention to uh, come October. Well, I think uh, some guys that have made some headlines, you know, Al Page is a defensive tackle for us. He's a fifth-year senior. Uh, he was a preseason All-American, uh, had a very, very good year last year for us on, on the defensive side of the football, made a lot of plays. Um, in the secondary, D'Angelo James is a senior. He's been a solid player for us. Um, and then on the offensive side of the ball, uh, Chris Andrews uh, really had a good end of the year last year at the quarterback position. Uh, Otis Wright at the tailback position has, has made some plays in his career. And, and now we have Anthony Carrington coming back at the receiver position as well. So I, I think there's a lot of guys out there right now and, and throughout fall camp we're going to see who's going to step up and, and make the plays and get going in the beginning of the season for us. What's it like to run a football program on Staten Island? 
that's great. You know, the the local community supports us extremely well, and and being here in New York City, there's so many opportunities for kids. Um, so running the program, we try and incorporate New York City into it as much as we can. Okay, Jason Hotailing, we appreciate the time. Uh, look forward to the matchup October 24th on BYU TV in Provo. We appreciate the time, Coach. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. You too.